All right, welcome back to the channel, my people. Happy to have you here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Hope you saw yesterday's video, dude. We had an amazing peg find Hot Wheel Super Treasure Hunt, dude. I am so happy today. Same day for me, of course. The Florida boy and I did some hunting. We found some Hot Wheels. I didn't think about it till, till later, but we don't have a mainline BMW 507. Like, I never bought one. And I did promise to show you our box from Mattel. Uh, I did come home after not getting the Optimus Prime to a package. And based on the weird shape, I said, man, I really hope they accidentally sent me Optimus. They didn't, of course, but it is something very cool that even I forgot I purchased. Also, in today's video, I'm going to show you the OG Exotic Envy set. It's a completely different style of set compared to the one that's on the pegs now, and I think you should know what you missed if you weren't collecting during those days, because it's a completely different set, honestly. Now, uh, the cars are incredible. I do have a whole full set here on the stream table. I'm going to show you that after the hunting clips. Alright, if you saw yesterday's video, uh, hey, what up, what up, what up, I got the Florida boy here with me. You know that we did get lucky and found the BMW 507 Super Treasure Hunt at the grocery store. So we just stopped by another one to see if we can get lucky. Alright, so it's a partial, guys. It's already open. I was really hoping that she was going to be sealed nice and tight and fresh. Now, I don't see a tool again. We got to check the Camaros. And something is missing. Yeah, see, there's, there's a car missing there. So, yeah, no, it's not. It's not a freshie. There's a missing car. Right here. It should have been right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There would have been one right there. All right, I already checked this other side, guys, and we know for sure, like, how easy that thing is to see, right? She's super gold. There's a car missing right here as well. So that's two cars missing. So unless it had two of those, looks like someone got a tool again, maybe. That's not it. It's right here. Yes, yes, get get it, get it, get it. You want it? Get it. You can have a Batmobile. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy it for you. I'll buy it. There's two in here. Two Batmobiles? Yeah, but they're the same one. See? It's the same one. See? Same one you got. Okay? All right, cool. So, all good. We got the Super Treasure on. It's still fun to see older cases showing up. Like I said, it gives you a second chance. All right, next up is a dollar and a quarter tree plus. We did hang a D case here recently that we had already gone through. So I just kind of wanted to see what was left, dude. Here's the Matchbox repack cases. Like I said, there's the white Porsche. I guess I'm saying it wrong. I'm supposed to say Porsche. All right, well, I just stopped by another grocery store because I'm an idiot and I didn't get a matching main line. Uh, you saw the clips with the Florida boy and we had it in our hands and I realized today, I'm like, dude, I didn't grab a matching main line. It would have been so cool, especially to have like an international matching main line. Now there is more C case here at this store. There's the Civic. And I've already looked through here, honestly, and I cannot find a BMW 507. So either, you know, someone got lucky or they just grabbed the main. Tough to say. There's the Camaro. There is two of them. What's way back there? Yeah, that's not it. All right, well, good. Payment to the feet. I guess we can go back to the other grocery store that had the, the partial box and see if it's still there. You know, I just like having that. I mean, you know how I roll. I like having the matching mane for my soups. Super cool though to catch the old BMW so late in the year. All right guys, we're back at the store where we left the, the mainline BMW 507. Well, here we go, acquired. And if you're curious what is going on as far as the pegged items, anniversary cars like crazy because they got two full shippers at the store still on the spring car sets. This card isn't perfect. I mean, there's a little 
A little corner issue, but well, good, dude. I really enjoy having the matching mains. For my soup, so yes, it was totally worth <laughs> coming back here to, to grab this. It's not that far from the compound. Uh, and I think there's one more grocery store I'm gonna check before we head back. And I'm gonna show you something cool. All right, just about the old Walmart neighborhood grocery store. G Case cars still remaining. These have been here for weeks, dude. Yeah. G Case, not like, yeah, wait. Hello? G case from last year. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, D case on that one. N case on that one. All right, we got all the mixes here, but guess what? They do have something cool. Are you ready? There it is Hot Wheels Flames. The old five pack everyone was posting about. I didn't even buy one, but you know, I'm not really into five packs anymore. All right, before we get to this big, beautiful box of awesome stuff, uh, here we go, guys. So, uh, number one, McLaren Senna Premium. Really nice wheel. It's got the, what is that, eight, nine spoke black wheel, whatever it is. So the McLaren Senna, beautiful car. I really like the sunroof, how they how they did the sunroof or the T-tops there. I guess they're T-tops. Uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful Hot Wheel. Number one of Exotic Envy OG. Of course, they didn't have chases back then. This is a, a, a pre-premium chase set. So there's the Senna, Aston Martin Vulcan, uh, Aston Valhalla Concept, the beautiful Bugatti Chiron, which was the car to get, along with the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. And we have them all right here. I'm gonna show you them all. So number two, Aston Martin Vulcan, carbon fiber, what I thought was carbon fiber roof, but it's possibly solar panels. It looks like carbon fiber, but it also could be solar panels. I don't know enough about the car to know if she's an EV partially. Gosh, or maybe fully, right? There is no exhaust. There's a belly pan. I don't see any exhaust on that bad boy. Maybe this is a, maybe this is an EV. Number three, Aston Martin Valhalla Concept. So we had the, the Vulcan there, Valhalla Concept. I don't know anything about this car. I guess it's some type of Aston Martin Concept car. I mean, that's all I can say. It's got the same exact wheel as the McLaren Senna from what I can see here. And next up is the set favorite, the Bugatti Chiron. Really cool black five-star hammer type wheel. Uh, larger wheel in the back, smaller wheel up front. Another belly pan, but we do show some exhaust right there. And it also has some really good rear aero. Wow, look at the details on the back of that Hot Wheel, dude. That thing is nice. See the tail light going through the back? That is a really cool car. This is one of my favorite premiums to ever have acquired. Along with the green number 505 Huracan Lamborghini LP610-4. It's got the really nice uh, five-star chrome wheel that we have seen on the Fast and Furious truck. We saw that also on a Toyota Celica, I think from the Mountain Drifters. I love the card art. They're all basically the same style of card art. Nice, dark, beautiful card art with the beautiful color cars on the card art. Should I say card art one more time? So there you go, a little blast from the past. Uh, because we are seeing the new Exotic Envy, I really wanted you guys to see the old Exotic Envy as well. And I will be having these in a whatnot show soon. If I haven't already, actually because maybe that show already happened. But yeah, that's so funny, dude. I didn't even think uh, about the mainline BMW 507. So it's very cool. We got one. We have a matching international card BMW to go with our international card suit. So there you go. If you missed the video, the gold, it stood out, dude. Like I was just walking up to them pegs, crying about the seat case on the bottom. I look up. And I wasn't crying anymore, dude. So it looks like they have the same livery. And I just noticed the TH is underneath the 822. So that 822 has nothing. And then there's the TH symbol on the number plate on the side of the door. The paint is so different. The wheels, not so much. I do understand what they were going for. Some people are complaining about the wheel style. Wow, look, the card doesn't really even show 
that much of a difference. It doesn't show how gold it actually is. Wow, look at that. But it does have the TH there. It does show the rubber tire. Uh, where this one just has the regular wheel. Very happy to find a Peg Find Super, especially an international card. They are so much harder to find. They make probably three to five times as many international cases. So the Supers are spread out more than they would be in our US cases. So we are very lucky here as Hot Wheels collectors to have access to more Super Treasure Hunts then across the pond. All right, I will not make you wait anymore. Are you ready for this? I cut my nails, I, I can't get in here, hello? Come on, dude. Open up for the people, you can do it. Even the box doesn't want to be shown. Anyway, it's a weird new box style. I haven't seen this from Mattel before. Of course, I recognize the return address. There she is, guys. The Elite 64 Pandem Dotson 280SX. Look at the wheels on this thing, dude. Holy moly. Unreal. Thing looks awesome. I did order two of them. There's a second one right there. I don't think I even really checked this one. I had this one out of the protector. These protectors are so flimsy, man. I'm telling you, they are so flimsy. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Come on out. You can do it. Come on, I don't think I need two hands. I might though. I do, hold on. Okay, here we go. So Rocket Bunny is uh, part of the livery here. Nissan, Hot Wheels. It's a clean car, guys. I am very happy that I ordered a couple of these things. We have two right now. And as everyone knows from the Whatnot shows, we do have the Elite 64 Liberty Walk Lambo. And that thing is really cool, man. I've shown it before. And this is work, so I'm not going to keep messing with it. But the back end comes off, the wing comes off, and there is actual twin turb skis underneath that bumper. I don't think there's any moving parts on the Datsun, like nothing opens, nothing comes off. That was a real cool feature. Now, some people are saying that the wheels are cambered from Mattel on this car. The card art shows them perfectly straight. I'm gonna show you right there, look. I I'm lining up to the grid on my phone, the you know, the grid view. And that thing is straight, dude. That that wheel is totally uh, zero camber. The package has camber. Like I, you could see it right there. There's a bump out in the package, but does the wheel follow that package? I can't tell without opening this thing. I I I see extra plastic, and I don't see the tire touching said extra plastic and even if we look from this side i think the wheels are straight as in like zero camber i don't think there's any camber i think the package has camber for some reason and maybe they had thought about doing that or plant well gosh when you look from this way well maybe it does dude wow now that i'm looking at it like from the bottom hello can you focus I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. It kind of does look cambered, but I don't know how they would have pulled that off. I mean, I am seeing the top of the wheel closer to the body. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's a little camber there. I don't know, dude. It's tough to say. I don't know how they would have done that. They would have had to lock down the axle here somehow so that they could bend it or bend the pins. Yeah, maybe, dude. Maybe it's got camber. I don't know. You guys leave it in the comments. If anyone has opened one of these and can let us know, please do. Both Works and I are very curious. But there you go. The Elite 64, number nine, Pandem Dotson. Now, I did get the Chaser as well a while ago. That's right. We got three of these bad boys. The box was a little bit crushed. As you can see, the protector is they're just so flimsy so i did lose a protector on one of the chasers unfortunately but it's all good it's all good works wants one we'll hook them up i really like the chaser there's people that uh, are complaining about the wheel on the chaser oh wait this is number two what was what was number one if this is number two i thought this was number one i thought this was the, i thought this was the first release 
All right, so 96 to 2001 generation 6, 2.5 liter, 1 JZ engine, 5 speed manual. These cars are really cool. If, if you know from Adam LZ's channel, he has or had a real chaser. Look at the exhaust sticking out of there. There you go, right there. Look at the pipes. Look at that, sticking out of the bumper like that. Lots of great detail. Wow, that's cool. Very nice. We're not seeing that same detail here. So what a difference. They they really did a nice job on the Elite 64 cars. I absolutely love this wheel. It's a I believe a Rays style, like R A Y S Rays brand. Look, there's actual canards on the chaser. Dude, this thing is nice. I thought it was number one for some reason. Very, very cool. The Elite 64 set. These are the cars I have. The chaser. The Pandem Dotson, which is still available. I did see they are still selling these on the site. Oh, look, they did. Oh, yeah, the cards are all the same. Yeah, so it gets a little glossier where the car is, like we're seeing on the newer anniversary sets. But, yeah, I've got number nine right here. We got number two, a couple of them. Unfortunately, we did lose uh, one of the blister protectors because the box, like I said, got crushed somehow. Dude, I can't get over how cool the exhaust looks under there. That looks so cool. And I believe I ordered five of these Elite 64 Liberty Walk Aventador uh, Lamborghini cars. So there should be four left. Uh, well, three, because this will go to works. One of them's gonna go to you guys, and then I'll have three left over, just like we have three of the chasers. So the Elite 64 cars, very cool product. I love that there's no hook or peg hole. This Datsun looks awesome. It's, uh, it's incredible how they're doing a different wheel style than what they do on the premium. So I like that the product has very unique details. All right, cool, I hope you enjoyed seeing this awesome old school exotic Envy set. I do have extra Lambos, extra Bugattis, and maybe a few extra of these other ones. I'm not positive. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my personal collection of Elite 64 cars, including the new Pandem Datsun 280. Is their wheel camber is what I want to know. They all have a special feature, right? This one has the blue ray wheels with the exhaust showing. This has the removable bumper wing and shows turbos. So why would this not have a special feature such as camber? The package certainly indicates it. From the top view, it does look like it. So you guys let me know in the comments. Right, my people, thank you so much. That's going to do it for today's video. I really appreciate all of you for being here throughout the week and enjoying this journey with me. We do offer channel memberships here on the Florida Man channel that gets you early viewing of the videos so as soon as they're posted you can watch it you don't have to wait till 5 p.m est you also will be getting a channel shout out which will start doing those shout outs next week i believe we're up to a handful of members five or six once we reach a certain number we'll have member only giveaways and you also get access to exclusive members only content right now it's behind the scenes content of the florida woman and i around the house having a good time but i'll start doing some diecast related member only content as well thank you so much for watching today's video my people really appreciate all of you if i don't see you tomorrow this is friday's video so tomorrow's saturday we got a lot going on this weekend it's memorial day so if i don't see you tomorrow happy memorial day weekend Please enjoy it responsibly. I know I will. Maybe we'll do a whatnot show. Just watch the noties, guys. And thank you again for being here. I can't wait to see you in the next one.